Well, let's see. Okay, so we left off with this guy. Right. If you haven't seen the last episode, check it out. We're still trying to work our way uh, back through medical. I, I don't. I guess we're not really in medical anymore, but trying to work our way um, back to Samuels and Taylor. So, with the help of our robot friend, who I'm gonna name Gadget. Your name's Gadget now. Deal with it. Here we are. Your compression cylinder will be found at the far end of this room. Thank you, Gadget. For not murdering me. I don't know what I'm doing. I know that we have to mess with these things to kind of get across. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, that's why. Otherwise, we're gonna light on fire like Gadget. Still good? Yeah, he's good. He's just taking a nap. Robots take naps in fire. Um, maybe this one. Not that hard to get over. It's in the back uh, left corner of this room, so. Yeah, there we go. Easy peasy. So that's number three. Um, I believe it was row, row one, shelf two or something. I'm gonna go ahead and bring this one down. Oh, well that was easy. Okay. So now we have to go back, replace the component for the elevator, and get our butts back down to uh, Samuel and Taylor. Which I feel bad for them. I mean, they're totally... Like, if anything comes near them, whether it's the alien, other humans, she can't be moved, she can't be relocated right now, so... Kinda sucks. I wouldn't want to be Samuels. I, I... Especially in a situation where you have to look out for your own life, taking care of someone in that kind of situation is always awful. Um... They're just all chilling. I'm gonna try and get around them without getting their attention. We heard the alien scream, so... I tried to get him to come out and kill them earlier in the last video, but he just didn't want to drop down into this area, so... I'm not too worried about him. I think I kind of want to try and... see if he'll uh, attack these people, though. I did throw a flare, so maybe that wasn't the best thing. I should have thrown a noisemaker, because if he's not in the area, he's not going to see it, right? Perfect. Alright, let's crouch in this elevator. Come on. Yes. That was a MLB throw right there. Ooh, I hear him. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Come on, where's that big boy? Nothing. Are you kidding me? I'm about to pop some shots off. This is ridiculous. Why isn't he coming out? Okay. No, I don't know. Oh god. Yes, press the button, press the button, press the button. Oh, well, they're all dead. Okay, so they're all dead. Uh, we're back up top uh, on the back up on top. Oh my god. English. So we took the elevator either up or down. Honestly, I don't know. Anyway. We're kind of in this little... Oh, what it said. Fluid. Something, rather, area. So, oh my god. It's not deep. No. No. He was just down below, bro. What the heck? Oh man. Now I don't know 
Are they shooting at me or are they shooting at him? If he's behind me, I don't, I don't like that. How come they're allowed to shoot at it and it runs away? And I try to get my face ripped off. Alright, there's nothing on the, the radar here. I. Oh, no, those are just the people. No, nobody's here. Just ignore me. I'm just here to steal all your things, see? Um. Alright, let's try and get. Is this gonna do anything? Are you a button? Button, button. You got the button. No, nothing? Really? Oh. That was an emergency alarm. I'd be pressing that thing like 50 billion times. I guess the alarm's already going off as I look around me and realize. Duh. I don't think I'm gonna be able to MLB throw that up there. My throw game is weak. I'll just make my way up there. I think there's maybe two or three of them. Ugh. Sorry, tired. Just try and get through this. I want to get up to a certain point in this video. Hopefully, um, it's not much longer than all the other videos, but there's sort of a another mission that. I'm trying to get to anyway, because that'll make a good stopping point as well as uh, we play as the crew of the Anisadora in the next episode, hopefully, so that'll be a good episode by itself and kind of a change of uh, a pace and we won't be playing as Amanda, so that'll be interesting. I actually really like that mission, so let's go ahead and save. I don't know if there's anything in this room that I need. I'm actually not quite sure at all where to go. I feel like I have to like unlock something since there's nothing on my map. my robot buddy didn't uh I would just send him in with like a EMP or something strapped to his chest mm. I feel like I, I I shouldn't even be in this area honestly did I like press the wrong button on the elevator or? Okay, so synthetic storage. Okay, synthetic storage. Synthetic fluid processing. Yeah, get through the synthetic fluid plant. Okay. Oh well, I guess we'll try and. I don't know. I guess I'll shoot him if I have to. Oops. It says there's nothing ahead of me, like, maybe once I enter this room, but, I don't know. Just gonna throw this in and hope for the best. Oh, what's that? What's that? Go look! What's that noise? What's that noise? Um... I had a feeling the alien was gonna pop out, so I was just, like, backing up into this room here. I think I might have to go uh, off of myself. Give him the old one, too. Oh, 
Oh yeah. Really? Just headshotted him and he didn't die? And now he's dead. And now I'm out of health. No! What? Wow, I must have had no health. Okay, let's try that again. Oh, dude, I had to like... That's just not worth it. I had to shoot that guy like four or five times and then I only got like one or two off on her. And I shot him in the face. It's like, ah, oh, no, I'm good. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, fine, I'm dead. Bullets. God. Um, I'm just gonna try and get past them or something. I don't want to waste all my ammo on two people. I'd rather save it for anything else other than them. Honestly, I try not to waste any ammo on people, and I either get the alien to do it or the robots, and I oh, save no. everything I have for the robots because the synthetics are crazy. Um, I'd rather not wasted on a human, so. I don't have anything yet that I can use against the alien, so. Which I believe after this episode works out to get to the point where I can get to, if it doesn't take longer and I'm not dilly-dallying around, then the next episode will work out that I can get the Anisadora mission over, and then after that I believe we get our flamethrower. Which is going to be cool. So look out for episode 9. Which is going to be flamethrower episode. Um, I, I mean, that doesn't mean I'm going to be using it. But still. Can I have this wheelchair? I feel like if I was in a wheelchair, the alien would be like, Oh, dude, you're disabled. Alright, let's, let's leave you alone. Come on. There we go. Uh, swoosh. There we go. Ugh. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that noise. The thing is, is it would be terrifying hearing that noise in any situation, but how terrifying is it that you're in space, knowing that if something breaks or comes off of the station, that could break... The internal seal of the station and like suck air out of an area and if you're in that area you're just dead that's what terrifies me about space you know i would probably never live on a space i station. sent you a clear directive not to land on station i told you we didn't hear your message we understood you would be hey whoa chill identify yourself ripley from the torrents relax kid What the hell is going on here, Marshal? Where's the security forces? You're looking at them. I've seen the creature. What is it? I don't know. Something brought here by Marlo, the captain of the Anisadora. The ship that found the flight recorder. Is there anywhere safe left on this station? That creature's running around, and the Sikhs and synthetics are less than friendly. Goddamn androids. Ripley? <laughs> Taylor needs attention. Medical's a no-go. We can't take her there. We have a basic life support unit back at HQ. Then let's go! We need the transit to get to HQ, but it's down. Transit okay, so Mr. Upstairs. Angry at Robots here. Um, you're an engineer. Go make it's gonna make us go do more stuff, so... Seeing as you screwed up the trap. Well, you know what? I didn't expect to walk into a room strapped with barrels and C4 and... Lots of explosives and be lit on fire, and that wasn't my bad. I mean, I'm not gonna take responsibility for that. You should have put up some signs. Not like the alien would have read them. Well, something's. Yeah. Even that. Put a big old red X on the door. That tells me not to go in there. Yet there's locks on doors and I'm just popping them off and going in anyway. Hmm. 
If I remember this correctly, I'm gonna probably want an EP mine for EMP mine for up here. There's another uh, blueprint. Oh god. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hide. Hello? I know someone's in here. No, you don't. Nothing to see. Yeah, we gotta get back to that middle console, I think. Calm down in there, you android fuck! <laughs> this is just the relationship with all people on this station to the synthetics. Like, I feel like this is what it would be like, too. We just treat them like shit. Like, we would get so used to them, and when they're annoying us, we would just be able to say and do whatever we want to them. I went to a lot of and treat them like the lowliest place. pieces of trash. Like, as if we're talking to just, like, a stupid human. And this is their relationship. Everybody just hates them. I mean, they have reason to now, considering they're killing people, but... I feel like that's how it would have been before, too. Not to mention, I'm sure, Zeke's and, and uh... You're you not know, going the ship's sort of synthetics that's aren't necessarily the best. Didn't go for that newest model. Show yourself and I'll make it quick. <laughs> um, come on, come on, come on, come on. I don't want to be in this locker for this whole video. Come on. I mean, I could kill him, but like I said, I'd rather just wait because I believe that once I restart this computer, that uh, Android pops out. So. Okay, we should be good. Gotta wait till he goes around the corner. There we go. What? Nothing. Oh. Okay. I don't know what to do. Where did that guy go? Oh, I think I see... Okay, yeah, there's stuff near him. Some computers, I'm pretty sure we gotta do that first, maybe? I don't know. Oh, excuse my yawn. A hefty, a hefty yawn. There we go. Press some buttons. Ow! No! 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 Nothing to see here. No. Bullets are bad. Just hug me instead. I'm gonna hide. Dude, dude, it's cool. Chill. <laughs> Did, did the android just clothesline him? Where do you think you're going? Smack! Beautiful, thanks bro. You're Gadget 2.0, but I have to kill you, so... Well, I couldn't have thrown that any closer to myself. Smack, 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 smack. Oh yeah. Mmm, look at all that milk. Okay. Ooh, ammo. Alright, now we can get out of here. Ripley, this is Waits. The transits here were waiting on you. Take it. I had some trouble, so it's gonna take me a while to get back. We can wait. Taylor can't. I can catch the next car. 
Ugh, creepy radio music. I don't even know where that would be broadcasting from, or like what signal they're picking up. Wow. Note to self, never get locked in a room with a synthetic. I end up like these two guys. Just brutally. Wow, look at that guy, his like guts are ripped out, wow. Alright, well we have our new Plasma Torch, or Ion Torch, I can't remember which one it was called, Ion Plasma Torch, maybe I'll combine both words. But yeah, so now it's going to give us access to a lot of different areas, um, including vent systems like we're going to do right now, which will lead to different rooms, and it's kind of a easier way to get through areas that you've already been through as well, like I'm sure that in the past videos we've seen places where I wasn't able to unlock or open, so... And that's just with the plasma torch. It's not going to unlock rooms that, you know, we need upgraded uh, hacking tool for, so hopefully we find another one of those soon. that music. I've always said one of the creepiest things would be like looking up and seeing like the alien just kind of peek over top of where you just came from on the ladder. That would just freak me out. Grizz and Sinclair. <laughs> All right, there we go. Make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary, but we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. Ripley, we heard voices as we left. Watch yourself. There's no room for pity. All right, so there's gonna be some people coming through here. Maybe it's just those two chubby guys that got off the elevator in one of the last videos. <laughs> that was weird. just ran around and hid behind things. Oh, we gotta go to the other side of this, so hopefully these guys just pass through. If at all, I don't hear anybody. Site to raid. Or a way off standing around waiting to die. That, and today's the day we finally seal ourselves in the habitation base. Our Wouldn't they wonder, like, who pressed the button? Oh, come on. Let's go find Sinclair. No way we should be splitting up. Safety in numbers. There we go. Just everybody all fast walk out of here at once. Give me one clear shot. I'll stop the fucker. Oh, okay. Game's over. That guy's gonna go stop him, I guess. You heard it here. He's got it. I'm just gonna go chill out, eat Cheetos, and shoot my gun off at nothing. Alright, so now we kinda gotta make our way to the 
Marshall's headquarters. Shouldn't take too long. This is right about where I wanted to end this video off too, so that's good. Probably be about nine, ten minutes longer than the past videos, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Ripley, we're in the Marshall Bureau. Just turn right at the top of the stairs. You can't miss it. No welcome committee? Okay. Just get up here. Wait's out. has a plan. A plan? Really? His fucking plans haven't done us much good so far. Was that you? Did you get the transit running? Nice work. Maybe we'll be safe here. For now, anyway. How's Taylor? Stable. Should be walking soon enough. Samuels is with her now. Okay. You managed to get transit up and running, so I guess we're even. Where's Ricardo? Prepping our next move. Look, I'm busy. I've got Marlo in the cells, the lowlife who showed up with your flight recorder. Where's Marlo's ship, the Anisadora? He put it in a parking orbit around the gas giant. Son of a bitch won't give us the command codes to let us bring it in on auto. Maybe you can get more out of the unhelpful bastard. Go talk to him. For sure. Um. Hi. Can I? No, I don't want to open it. I just want to talk to him. Hello? Can you hear me? Oh, seriously. There's a flamethrower in there. I know that. There we go. I guess we just had to do a lap. Marlo? Who wants to know? My name's Ripley. I'm with the company. Here for your empty box already? You guys are keen, I'll give you that. I'm here for personal reasons. My mother was on the Nostromo when it went missing 15 years ago. You serious? Shit. Well... Shit. We never found her ship, Ripley. Just the recorder. But you sure as hell found something else. What happened out there? I need a way out of here, Ripley. Maybe we can make a deal. Just start talking. I want to know everything. 